I'm vlogging, it's boring, I'm clean. 2020 is weird. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Actually, good afternoon. I am currently cooking myself some healthy lunch, which I don't want to be doing. But I'm trying to be better because usually during lunchtime, I will grab like a cupcake or a cookie and eat that and then order McDonald's or Taco Bell or something horrible. And I've been feeling like poop. And so I was like, I need to start eating better. And so I'm making, look, I'll show you what I'm making. It is not, it doesn't look appealing. Some sauteed veggies, some corn, because I love me some corn on the cob, and couscous, really boring. That's what I'm making for lunch today. I'm so domestic. We have decided to come to the park so Flynn can get out some energy. I have been just a little workhorse today, so I haven't vlogged anything else. It is now 4.45, and I haven't vlogged anything today. So we decided to get out of the house. No, he's not gonna do it. Do, do, do. You see a big truck? Big tree! Wow. Ready? Now hold on. Hold on tight. <laughs> okay, hold on tight. You got it! <laughs> Good job! We're, try. We're watching the Dodgers because apparently we watch sports in this house now, but Flynn and I would rather play Connect Four. Okay, ready? You wanna play? Okay, do you wanna be red or yellow? Are you red? You're gonna be yellow? Oh, and red? Okay. <coughs> You'll be yellow, I'll be red. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be red. Now it's your turn. No, it was my turn, now it's your turn. Mmm, nice move. Now it's my turn again. Now it's your turn. Oh, oh nice. My turn. Your turn. Your turn. Uh -huh. You're a sore loser. You saw that I was winning, and that was your reaction. Okay, say bye bye. Bye bye. 
Bad cake, bad cake, baker man. Baker man, cake as fast as you can. Roll it, roll it, pat it, and mark it with the B. Mark it with the B. Go for it. And put it in the other part. Medium, yay! You want to do it again? Okay, come on. Patty cake, patty cake, baker man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, roll, pat it, and mark it with the B. Mark it with the B. Good job. Put it in the other part. Yeah! Can do it again? Okay. Patty cake, patty cake, baker man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it. And mark it with the B. Mark it with the B. Good job. And put it in your mouth. Yeah! <laughs> we're eating chili. Eric made chili. And we're gonna watch a documentary about a cult. Typical night at the Ballinger Stockland house. Excuse me. I'm going to take a shower because I'm disgusting. I haven't showered in like a few days because I'm the grossest person in the world. But yeah, I feel like I didn't really talk to you guys much today. Sorry, I've just been so busy with this like new line of like serious thingy I'm doing. So I'm just editing so much. It's different than any other like videos I've ever edited. It takes so long. Like it took I think a week to edit this first episode and Corey, Corey and I worked on the second one. I think it probably took a week as well. I'm not even done with it. Like I, I think I'm gonna finish it tonight, but it's like, they take so long to edit. I don't know, you guys don't care about that. So I don't know why I'm telling you that. Like, I feel like no one watching this is like, oh really, a week? Like you guys don't care. You just wanna watch it or you don't, but please go watch it. If you do watch it, there's a chance to win $500 in the episode today. So if you want $500, go watch it because you might win $500. But there's a lot of stuff coming up that I need to work on, like the Childhood Cancer Fundraiser, other Miranda stuff, and I don't know, you'll see coming soon. What is happening here? I need to shower. I think that's my hair saying. Get in the shower, girl. Get in the shower. So I'm gonna do that, go back. Mm. <laughs> Guys, I'm so frustrated, I could cry. <laughs> okay, so it is two in the frigging morning. <laughs> So I left you guys at like, it was like 9.30 or 10 when I went into the shower. And then I was like, okay, I need to be better about time management. And so I'm gonna make a schedule and like figure out how to get as much work done as possible tonight. And so I like, I scheduled out like my evening of how I would get stuff done. And I was like, okay, I'll be in bed by one. And that'll be great. Cause then I wake up early with Flynn, obviously at like six, but then I can take a little nap in the morning and like, I'll be good to go and like schedule out my morning tomorrow. And then Flynn woke up and this is just a struggle of being a, a mom. Like you can't really schedule stuff <laughs> because it's so unpredictable what's gonna happen like with a kid, you know? And so like Flynn woke up he just wouldn't go back to sleep. I don't, and he wasn't crying. He wasn't upset, but like he would cry if I left. And so he just wanted to be cuddled, but like he wasn't, there's nothing wrong. He wasn't sad. He wasn't scared. He wasn't anything. He just wanted to be cuddled. And I'm not going to deny him. Like if he wants his mama, I'm never going to be like, no, you can't have mama. So I feel like I'm going to get mom shamed because whenever you talk about anything, like you did parenting wise people mom shame, but whatever. Like I laid with him for two hours and it was like, I had, had just scheduled out like all the stuff I was gonna do tonight so that tomorrow I could spend time with him and not be super stressed tomorrow I could get work done tonight I couldn't get anything done tonight because I <laughs> he wouldn't fall asleep he just like wouldn't close his eyes and just was kicking his feet he just wanted to be awake just like to be awake and I get it because I'm like that but it was just really frustrating and it's late and I was gonna try to be asleep by one and now it's two so I'm gonna fall asleep like four and he's gonna wake up at six I'm literally gonna cry I'm so frustrated thanks for letting me vent about that it's the next day. I just wanted to clarify. I was not frustrated with him. I was frustrated that uh, there was another night where I made like a list of things to do and I didn't get it all done. I was tired and I feels like every day I, I make a long list of stuff and I like, I'm like, I'm going to get this done. And then I don't. And then I get frustrated with myself. So I just want to clarify. No way was I frustrated with him. I love cuddling him. I love that he wanted his mama. My favorite thing in the world. I enjoyed laying there with him and like cuddling with him. Those are my favorite moments in the world. So I just didn't want anyone to misinterpret what I was saying is I always make really high expectations for myself. And then when I don't meet those unrealistic expectations, I beat myself up. And that's what you're seeing here. So anyway, 
moving on. I wanted to say um, quickly that I was wrong and I'm sorry. Um, yesterday I talked about Halloween and why I didn't celebrate Halloween as a kid. And in the video yesterday, I said that it's a satanic holiday and I was taught it was a satanic holiday and that the origins of Halloween are that it's satanic. And there were a lot of comments on my blog saying, no Colleen, you are wrong. Educate yourself. It is not a satanic holiday. I'm gonna read you what um, it is. This is one of the top comments on my video yesterday. Hey Colleen, Halloween is a holiday celebrated each year on October 31st. The tradition originated with the ancient Celtic, Celtic, sorry, not good at speaking, festival of Samhain, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, over 2,000 years ago when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III designated November 1st as the time to honor all saints. Soon, All Saints Day incorporated some of the traditions of Samhain. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. The evening before was known as All Hallows Eve and later Halloween. Over time, Halloween evolved into a day of activities, trick-or-treating, jack-o'-lanterns, festival gatherings, donning costumes, and eating treats. Happy Halloween! I loved learning about it. I loved how many people commented educating me on it. So thank you. And I'm sorry that I made such a bold statement when I have like a big audience saying like, it's a satanic holiday. It's based in satanic traditions. When it's not, the tradition originated when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. So I need, now need to explain to you why I said that and why I was taught that. Correct. Those are the facts and that is not satanic. However, I was raised in the church, in Christianity. Basically, what I was taught and what I believed as a kid was there's heaven and there's hell. If you're good, you go to heaven, and if you're bad, you go to hell. Ghosts are not good. Ghosts, from what I was taught as a kid, ghosts can't be good people because good people go to heaven. So if there are ghosts and spirits in our world, they are not humans who've passed on to the other life because humans go to heaven or they go to hell. So the people who can be in our world, it's like spiritual warfare, there are angels and there are demons and the demons are from Satan. And so angels just protect you and are nice and they're not ghosts, whereas ghosts are things that Satan has put here. This is what I was taught, not what I believe now. Satan put these ghosts here to trick you, to taunt you, to um, confuse you, to make you question, things like that. So I was taught that ghosts, the concept of ghosts, were actually demons and were satanic. So correct, the facts are that Halloween is a tradition of you know people dressing up to ward off ghosts. And so it was originally like about ghosts. And while that is not about demons at all, what I was taught is that ghosts are demonic. <laughs> In my church, like that's what I was told. And so when I said that last night, I wasn't saying that like, it's a horrible holiday. I love Halloween. I think it's so fun and so cool. I didn't celebrate it as a kid because I was taught that ghosts and other spirits and other worldly things were satanic. That's what I was saying last night and I'm sorry that I worded it that way and misspoke. I have a big audience. I shouldn't be like making blanket statements like that. No one was like mad at me, by the way. No one was like, how dare you? Um, people were just like, hey, that's actually not true at all what you just said. You should correct yourself. So I'm correcting myself. I'm sorry, I was wrong. So like, yeah, like I literally wasn't allowed to like read the Harry Potter books as a kid. Anything that had ghosts or witches or anything like that as a kid, I was taught by like, my church and stuff that those were all say that all that was satanic now as i've become an adult i don't believe that now i think i've learned a lot in my adult life about the wiccan community and how cool that is and how like can be a really beautiful awesome community of people who are just incredible i've learned a lot about ghosts and how cool ghosts can be and ghost hunting i was raised very religious and that's where that came from last night that's what i was taught and so when i said halloween originally was a satanic holiday it was like originated from satanic things even though that isn't factual that it was factual for me and what i was taught so because what i was taught is that anything that's do with ghosts or witches or anything otherworldly other than like angels all of that is satanic and bad yes it was not true what i said but it was true for me 
<laughs> if that makes sense. And I didn't mean to like upset anyone. If anyone was upset, I don't think, I didn't read any like mad comments or whatever, but just a lot of people correcting me. So thank you for correcting me. Thank you for educating me. Sorry I misspoke there because that was just something I learned as a kid and it was wrong and I definitely don't think that way now and I didn't think it yesterday when I said that. I was just explaining that that's what I was taught when I was very, very little. I'm gonna try to go to bed now. I'm so tired. <laughs> And I'm gonna wake up in a couple hours and I'm gonna be so tired. <laughs> oh, I'm so bummed. Cause I was also gonna try to like get up early and like cause the Miranda episode comes out tomorrow and I was like excited to get up and like promote it and like get ready for it and prep for it and all this stuff. Now I'm just gonna be a tired mess and all. Wah, 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 no one cares. Not important problems, but um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Right before